what is going on, nerd? That's the intro. Let's get to it. Today we're going to test out the Vigero, which is probably the most requested muscle car for some reason. I've gotten the request from this one verbally, I've gotten it through the comments, I've gotten it through messages. The Vigero, is it what it's hyped up to be? A couple cool customizations that you can do to this car that I, I didn't do the wheelie bar, but I did do the roll cage that takes up the passenger seat, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's see if this thing stances properly. Does. Let's see what this car can do. I know it does drift, and I know we will be able to get a grade out of it, so let's do it. Let's do it. drift in second gear guys if you, if you double clutch up drift the same, don't get me wrong, but it really does handle quite similar to the Schwarzer, like the drifting and the, the responsiveness. Oh, I finally got that corner, nice. See, that was, that was second gear, where I came around that corner, that last corner there. Yeah, this car is sick, guys. I, this, this is a must-have in your drift collection, I can already tell you that much. There we go, that was the entrance we were looking for. Oh, I still shift. That was sick, though. I'm gonna get a good one of those. Guys, this car is awesome, though. It really is. This is a, it's a surprising. Like, literally, I, I put this car together about five minutes, and that might even be too long. Probably three minutes before I did this video. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to do an old school one. I was just kind of in the effort mood. And uh, let's do what everybody's asking for here. You know, the, the, the ah, man, that was terrible. Long story short, the Desert Drift Series is slowly dwindling down to possible cars. And, well, yeah, we're not going to have that, that many cars to continue to uh, get down. Gotta go on the inside, you know, kind of up the inside line as a clipping point, kind of. I think it's gonna score pretty high. Cost. I picked this thing up on the street for free, so I would do that same. Now get yourself one off the street. I remember the turbo was 38,000, engine was right around 20, just over 20,000, and transmission was right around that same area too, right in the 20,000 area. So, I mean, ultimately that's about 70k that you're looking at for upgrades. I think I put some, some muscle tire compound down there. The suspension as well is going to be your other thing that you need to uh, put. So, cost of what you're getting out of it, this thing is going a 10, guys. It's going a 10, and this isn't just shock value. I just took about another, each each lap on this is four laps. I'm on my last lap right now, so. Driftability. I, I, 
guys. I know this is going to sound greedy, but I wish it was just a slight bit better because it would literally probably perform right there next to the Schwarzer. And you guys all know how much I like that Schwarzer. But this car is quite good. Um, there's a couple little flaws. Basically, the car likes to shift down you, so you really got to figure out keep a good angle on the car and then hold off of the e-brake and then if you have enough angle with the car and you're off of the e-brake it'll kind of allow you to travel further in your drift however if you just kind of baby that e-brake it's not going to be the best for you also as soon as you straighten out that car anything beyond yeah right there that was it so kind of anything beyond a millisecond is going to shift on you it's kind of reading the car going straight so then you're either going to be forced to slow down and re-engage in the first or do this and kind of go into second gear drifting with the double clutching. If you don't auto double clutch in this game with the automatic car, as stupid as that sounds, um, go check out the Advanced Drifting How to Drift series because that will definitely teach you. I think it was second to last lap that I was actually on, but I thought it was the last one. Anyways, driftability, I'm going to give this thing an 8.5. It could be slightly better. It does like to shift a little bit more than I would like to see, but it's, it's great. It's phenomenal. So you're getting a 10, an 8.5, and, and then the efficiency, I mean, it, it stands normally. No issues whatsoever. It looks great. It sounds good. Sounds like that muscle car. has plenty of slide, has plenty of slip, and it has plenty of power under the hood. It's a great car. I don't have a whole lot to complain about other than... I wish it drifted a little bit better so it would compete directly with the Schwarzer and also that it shifts, you know, but guys, it's, it's getting it's getting a nine and a half here. It's getting a nine and a half. So very, very shocked that this old dusty car in the side of the garage that was completely stock is scoring so astronomically high on the dust drift scale so late in the game. Kudos to you, Vigero. Kudos to you. I appreciate you guys tuning in, liking, subscribing, sharing, doing what you're doing. You guys are doing it right. We are growing faster than ever. Thumbs up to you guys. I hope you stay happy, stay positive, and we will speak to you next time.